We're here you guys, so we are in Manchester Airport. It was a last minute decision, I saw a friend out in Dubai and I reached out to him and straight away he was like, fly over man, it's manic out here. I got my sister and brother-in-law with me. A few flights flying out tonight. It is dead. It's exciting, so I've not made any major plans, but since just announcing them on social media, plans are starting to flood through and I got a feeling that this is gonna be epically busy so let's get to Dubai Boosh, and we are here Dubai arrived uh, it's so warm it's about 25 degrees Celsius right now getting hotter it's still well, it's not even 12 o'clock um, and already I've got activities coming up so the main reason I'm actually here is a friend um, Matt Haycox who I met doing the Matt Haycox show which was a podcast and I'll tag the video uh, below this video. And I'm gonna be meeting up with him later this afternoon and we'll be getting buggies out and headed straight to the desert. So oh, I can't wait. It's jam packed already with different activities. I've been contacted by Sky School UK as well, who taught me how to paramotor back in the UK. Glad to be here. The hotel is nice, check this. So I get super excited when it comes to a hotel. My own space here and the bathroom is awesome. Check that. That you. So I am just heading out now to meet up with Matt. We've got some bugging going on this afternoon, so we're gonna be going to the desert, bugging over the dunes. Uh, getting some food out there in the desert as well as um, a friend of his, his birthday. So that'll be great. So I've just arrived at Matt's penthouse now. Let's go say hello. On the door, I think it's our surprise guest for Saturday. Ash Dykes has just flown over from England. Like me, it's his first time in Dubai. And about half an hour to get ready for buggy racing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Yeah. <laughs> how are you doing, pal? Good, mate. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Oh, man. You need to oh, the times are awesome. The last six yeah, days have just completely It looks like it's been following on this. This shows the difference between the kind of explorers that me and Ash are. Ash has got his big mountain bag. Let's go! And I've got a duty-free bag that had two, <laughs> bo two bottles of wine in it when we arrived. It's <laughs> a nice breeze, though. Nice to meet you, pal. Yeah, that's a new one. That's a new one. That was, right talking about them. I know. Just up here. Yeah. Oh, we're good. All good. So we've just just driven slightly further out of Dubai. We've hit up the the desert here, and we've met up with about 14 other people. Um, they are Matt's friends from the UK. Um, I think from Love Island and Tawi. And so we've just met up, and we are here on the sand dunes, about to tear it up. Yes. So this is it, we are all good to go. The team, or the quads. We've got about an hour and a half. Let's get it. Getting everyone together now and heading over to the to the next place. Grab some food. So that was cool, good fun yesterday. What a great day to arrive. Straight in with the quad bikes, cruising through the desert, watching some belly dancing, um, getting some some Dubai food. Uh, which was sort of lentil curry and chicken um, and then today I'm going to try with Matt uh, and two of his friends I'm gonna try to cross the border into Abu Dhabi um, for the Formula One I've heard there's some sensitivities that's why we're gonna try but then we might get turned back so here me and Matt just at the the penthouse I'm gonna be cruising straight to Abu Dhabi now fingers crossed that we get 
through to Abu Dhabi, isn't it? If we don't make it, we've got a big bag of vodka and orange juice. <laughs> so it's going to be a great journey there and an even better journey back. Exactly that. So we're set. After checking out of the Marriott, I'm now in the Radisson. It's put me up on a, on a great deal, really, thanks to Georgia, who I have met out here. Bit of a nice collaboration going on whilst I'm here in Dubai for the next eight nights. That's what we want. That's what we want. We did try our hand at getting into Dubai to watch the Grand Prix, the Formula One. We had tickets, but we got declined at the border because you need to be based in Dubai, in, um, Dubai for two weeks. Good morning. Today is the day. I'm just waiting for Vinny here at the hotel and then we shoot straight over to Paramotoring, which is about 50 minutes to an hour away, um, which I can't wait. Top up my, my skills. I've had about four or five flights, I think, in total. So hopefully I can get some more in today. It's about 6.45 right now. Pretty nice view outside. Check this. It's gonna be another hot day, about 27 degrees Celsius it averages. Um, which is great. Perfect, perfect weather really. It's been a while. It's been a while, it's been a few run. runs. A few run. So I've done some ground handling a couple of times, maybe run a little bit too far deep into the desert where the wind's picking up a little bit, just enough so I can hopefully get in the sky. I'm about to do my first paramotor session. Oh, that was wicked. I could see actually the Burj Khalifa in the distance as well. <laughs> and you're just surrounded by desert, perfect temperature, and uh, absolutely loved it. I didn't seem to forget too much. So that was it. Managed to get up maybe for about 15, 20 minutes, but absolutely stunned up there, really. It's, um, oh, it's so good. That's the great thing with paramotor. Because literally, you can stop a flat desert, you know, motor on your back, and up you go. So damn cool. So Vinny is actually a base jumper, a skydiver, a paraglider. He's probably got almost 700 jumps to his name. Um, but it's his first time trying paramotoring. And so pretty much, you know, he's going to know that but, um, it's just with the engine. So it's just getting familiar with the engine now. Vince flying up, flying up high, and I thought, what's a song he hates the most? And so he's got radio strapped on, you know, the headphones. And so we played through the radio. Barney is a dinosaur. How was that, mate? First time? Yeah, that was awesome. It's like a Jurassic Park ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. It's like a bit intimidating with the power on your back. You definitely feel the torque twist you, but just maintain. Run, go. It's good fun. So that's a wrap for this morning. We're going to grab some food now. So here now. The Burj Khalifa, right behind you guys. It's buzzing here. You know, you've got so much activity going on. You've got the, the boats cruising along. You have got shows going on, events, bright lights all over the place. Yeah, it's mega to be here witnessing this. So this is Tash and Vin's penthouse. And check this damn view out.
So it's been a cool day today. We've um, literally just dropped by to try to get some volleyball in. I was invited down by Raha, who's a um, quite the celebrity uh, here and in Saudi Arabia. She's the first woman, uh, first female, uh, well, Saudi female to summit the seven highest mountains on the seven highest continents, which is impressive. So she invited us along for volleyball, but we were pretty late. We weren't able to um, to catch it, but we still caught up. And she brought us this beautiful part, which is just like, you know, it feels like we're in California here. We've got the, the Burj Al Arab straight ahead. We've got these electric bikes out to get around. We've already jumped in the sea. It's uh, probably about 27 degrees Celsius. It's uh, such a cool place to be. It's stunning here, soaking up the sun pretty much before we go back to back to the cold yet yeah, Christmassy whales awaiting us so the world's gone a little bit crazy since we went away I believe back in lockdown 